the Peace of Westphalia in five minutes. Brought to you by Everything Peace of Westphalia. The Peace of Westphalia was a treaty signed on October 24th, 1648, ending the Thirty Years' War. That is to say, the war between France and Sweden against the Holy Roman Empire and the Civil War within the Holy Roman Empire. Sometimes the Treaty of Minster, which was signed in January 1648 and ended the war between Spain and the Dutch Republic, is also included as part of the Peace of Westphalia. What was the war about? The Thirty Years' War included a number of different conflicts, but we will focus on just two of them. First, there was a power struggle between France and the Habsburgs. The Habsburgs were a royal family that ruled in both Spain and Austria. France's main enduring conflict was with Spain, which, as you can see from this map, included not only modern Spain and Portugal, but also significant territories in Italy and the Low Countries. From the French perspective, they were encircled and had to fight being cut off from potential allies. The second conflict was the religious struggle between Catholics and Protestants. Most European countries had reached some sort of arrangement by the mid-17th century, often involving a single state church, but sometimes permitting religious minorities. The Holy Roman Empire, however, was still trying to work out the rules for how Protestants and Catholics would coexist. In 1618, Bohemia, which was largely Protestant, had rebelled against its Austrian Habsburg ruler, inaugurating a period of civil war that destroyed much of the empire and drew in foreign states as well. How did the conference come about? A major turning point in the war came in 1630 when Sweden invaded the empire. They were the first Protestant power to prove a match for the Austrian Habsburgs. In the next few years, various imperial estates proposed conferences to end the war. In 1635, France also joined the war as a full participant. Pope Urban VIII called for a conference in Cologne to end the war between the Spanish and Austrian Habsburgs and France. France, however, was not willing to make peace without its Protestant allies, including the Dutch Republic and Sweden. These two proposed conferences, Sweden and the Empire in one case, France, Spain, and the Empire in the other, eventually led to the idea of a single conference in the two nearby cities of Münster and Osnabrück. The Pope and Venice would provide mediators in Münster, and Denmark would mediate in Osnabrück, although Denmark dropped out when Sweden attacked it in 1643. France and Sweden insisted that, since the war had originated in the empire, all imperial estates should be invited to participate in a sort of imperial diet. Negotiations began tentatively in 1644. France demanded and got the imperial province of Alsace for its trouble. Sweden wanted all of Pomerania. It got only the western, better half, but also got the bishoprics of Bremen and Verden. Sweden also received money for back pay for its soldiers, the demobilization of whom was not complete until 1651. France and Spain were deadlocked over the fate of Catalonia, a Spanish province that had rebelled and accepted French rule. Spain conceded all Dutch demands so that it could concentrate its war effort against France, which continued to fight until 1659. The empire worked out a religious settlement that included some toleration for religious minorities. Why was the Peace of Westphalia important? The main short-term result was a benefit for religious freedom in the empire. Both parties agreed to allow freedom of conscience to religious minorities, and Calvinists were recognized as legitimate for the first time. Even though the papacy had mediated the treaty, Innocent X denounced it for making concessions to Protestants. France emerged as the strongest nation, defeating Spain 11 years later. It dominated European diplomacy for the next hundred years. The Netherlands and England developed a principle of balance of power to keep France from becoming too powerful. This period also saw the development of Congress diplomacy, in which all interested powers negotiated to resolve wars. Most Europeans regarded the enforced decentralization of the empire as crucial for European peace, but by the 19th century, Germans began to feel that Westphalia had been unfair to them. When they reunited, one of their first acts was to retake Alsace from France, which then became a French grievance leading up to World War I. Today, Westphalia is celebrated as the origin of sovereignty, the idea that each government is independent and does not interfere with each other's internal affairs. This is mostly a 20th century idea, however, as the foundation of Westphalia was French and Swedish intervention in imperial affairs to guarantee the rights of the estates against the emperor.